This is the lot. 2525 cobblestone. It's the neighbor's house. Actually, it's a sweet little cul-de-sac. And other than the doggy in the background there, <laughs> it's pretty quiet. <laughs> Not all the lots are developed, but it's looking good in this regard. And that's just the entrance way I came up from Cobblestone Drive. I don't know if the neighbors are home, but this is how the drainage goes for the property. So it's quite quite a hike up. You can see the property marker there. So it's a good setback from the neighbors. And what they've done is they've paved and then had the drainage remain the same. So that's how you get around that situation. They've done some nice landscaping. I'm pretty sure they're not home, so I really hope I don't feel like they're intruding <laughs> on them. <laughs> Anywho, it's a really pretty neighborhood. Um, I'm just gonna sneak through here. Oh. The architectural guidelines in this community are really nice as well. So you can see from here, this is the lot. That's where I came from on the roadway. Some nice trees here. So it's the same kind of idea. You have to leave the trees in place that you don't have to knock down. But it looks like it's semi-cleared already. I have to find the property markers. There's some kind of sticks here, but I don't really know what they all mean. Anyways, so, and then this is the back of the property. It's a nice size lot, decent. And that's the neighbor right there. There's some kind of marker right here. I'm not sure what that is. So we'd actually have to see if they had a survey of the land. Uh, it's yellow, so that could even be a utility. I'm not sure. I'm not going to make stuff up because I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, here we are. This is your view. I'm just going to go over to the neighbor's house one more time here you can get a better concept of what they've done. So they've done a walk, a semi walkout. Like it's more, more like a walk up, like they dug down and flattened things out. So maybe that's an option as well, because that looks really good. I like that design, but you can think about that in the future. There is a fence here as well. see that I don't know it's just a, a little wire fence in the distance and then a house on the horizon but yeah pretty quiet you can hear the birds singing that's the neighbors again just so you can see the other neighbor they're a little bit more set up so in the big picture, this is what I meant about, I don't know that you'll be able to see the lake because of all the trees in the horizon, but you will have some pretty mountains and there you have it. It is the lot, the castle stone, and this is a resale. The listing says not subject to GST, and the listing says no building commitment. So those are details we always put in the contract anyways. But really nice cul-de-sac, nice homes, you know, not overdone, not, not super sonic over the top. There's a few bigger ones, but nice stonework. And it's a little cloudy today, but it was sunny earlier. <laughs> there we go. 
Now I'm just down below on Cobblestone Circle. So that's where I came from. I was up top there. And I believe that's the house you saw in the picture. But there you have it. So this is another cul-de-sac down here. Really nice. Nicely appointed homes. Well-planned community. There you go. So in that direction, towards the lake, I'm just taking you through the community a bit here. So I'm going back up the hill now and just leaving Cobblestone Circle. And so you can just kind of see the community a little bit. Unfortunately, it's, I should have come sooner when it was nice and sunny out. And that's Cobblestone Trail up there. So I think I'll just drive you up there so you can have an idea. That's like a little slushy today. It's actually nice and warm. Five degrees here today. And a little bit of blue sky is coming out now. So that's nice. And this is the lot on the left that I just showed you. Neighbors numbers 2527, so that must be the lot 2525. And this is what I meant by the cul de sac. It's just a nice cul de sac. Looks like um, one, one more lot. Here's that um, fence I was mentioning. I think it, that must be private property. What's quadranted off on the, the wire fence? That's there. And this community also has architectural guidelines as well. So you can see people have actually adhered to them quite nicely. So we're coming back down and take you through. I probably should have videotaped this on the way up, but here I am not to run over a dog. <laughs> there we go. side there's uh sort of like little chalets a little kind of townhouse chalet community that's the only part of this community that's like that and i'm just gonna let this guy go ahead of me oh you're going to the mailbox Nice meridian here in the middle.
And now we're leaving the community and going back down the hill to the main road. So very scenic drive coming up here. This road I'm on right now is the main access road into the community. And it's uh, probably the busiest road. Once you get into the community, as you saw, we saw one car <laughs> the whole time. It's not busy and today is Saturday, so if it was going to be busy, I think you would have had that. And so, and this is really a nice vista overlooking the lake as you drive down. Now this is where I would have built homes, right here, looking at that lake. That's me. Uh, loop the lakes on, not loop the lake, um, the white way. You can skate around the whole lake at this time of year and it's absolutely fantastic. That gives you an idea. Hope that helps.